Hello students, welcome back to Clarity Concepts, Unleashing Conceptual Learning. Today in this lecture, we are going to talk about the continuity equation, which is the conservation of mass equation in fluid mechanics, which is very, very essential. And many students face difficulty in the derivation part of this continuity equation. So let us move ahead. Before I move on to this continuity and conservation of mass equation, I would like to ask you one question. Let us say that uh, you have this fluid tank, there is a tank of the fluid, okay. And the tank has two inlets. And let's say that from one inlet, I am putting in mass, let's say of 3 kgs every second. So the mass flow rate of the fluid through this inlet is 3 kgs in one second. So from any section of this pipe, 3 kg of fluid is crossing in one second. And the flow rate over here is let's say 5 kgs in one second. And the tank has one outlet and the fluid is coming out, let's say with at a rate of 1 kg per second. Now if you look at the entire stuff, in every second, 3 kg is getting in from this inlet, 5 kg is getting in from this inlet number 2 and 1 kg is coming out in every second. Now when I ask you what is the change in the mass of this fluid tank, so how much amount of mass is conserved every second in this tank, what will be your answer? Where does the rest mass go? What you will say? You will say sir 3 plus 5, you will say sir 3 plus 5 entry is 8 and outgoing is 1. So whatever is the difference that is 7. So, the tank will have 7 kgs of mass every second. So, the mass of this tank will increase by uh, the quantity called 7 kgs per second, right? Yes or no? So, let me put it over here, this equation, 7 kgs per second. How did you answer this? You have added the inlet, that is 3 plus 5 and you have minus subtracted the outlet, right? So, my question is, you have answered this keeping one of the fundamental rule in mind you know what is that that is conservation of mass you are aware that mass can neither be created nor be destroyed you are aware about that why because if i said that 3 plus 5 is 8 and outgoing is 1 then straight away it is came into your mind that 7 is the difference and 7 should be the mass preserved in this tank if at all you would have thought that mass can not be conserved then you would have asked me sir how much mass is getting destroyed and the leftover mass will be there in the tank so, mass is a conserved quantity and now let us derive the expression for any fluid flow. For any general fluid flow, what is the conservation of mass equation, right? So, before I move on, I would like to throw some light on this. See, if this is a control volume, right? This is a tank. The boundary of tank is a control volume, for example. Now, can I say what is this 7? 7 is the rate of change of mass of this control volume. So, I can say it is del by del T of mass of this control volume, yes or no? What is this 5 plus 3? Can I say this is the mass entering the control volume? So, this is the rate of mass entering control volume. This means I can say that this is m dot, you can say entering or in. What is this 1? This is the rate of mass output. Now, remember this equation. Okay, we are, we are going to use this for deriving the law of conservation of mass. Alright, so let us say that in any fluid flow, uh, I have this identified uh, control volume. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. This is the Cartesian kind of system and I have the three axes X, Y and Z where the this control volume has dimension dx in the x direction and dimension dy in the y direction and the dimension or length dz in the z direction. This is the identified control volume. This is not the physical box. Okay. This is just the boundary of the control volume chosen for the study. Now, let us say fluid is flowing over it. Now, I would, I would like to say that... Uh, for uh, this particular phase A, B, C, D phase, then you can talk about there are six phases, right? From each of the phase mass entering over here, let's say, is M dot X. Then from this phase E, F, G, H, mass leaving will be M dot X plus delta X or DX. I will put it DX because always I am using DX, right? Not delta X. I am using DX, right? Then... If you talk about the y axis, from the bottom, mass flowing into a system is let us say m dot y and from this top mass leaving is m dot y plus dy because it is a distance of y. Similarly, from the back side, mass entering is m dot z and from the front portion, mass leaving is m dot z plus dz. Now, if I ask you to remember the previous equation, what was the mass conservation equation in the previous slide? We saw that this mass in 
minus mass out equals to rate of change of CV, right? So I'll put the same over here. Let me put the same. Rate of mass entering the system or control volume minus mass flow rate leaving the control volume should be equals to rate of change of mass of the control volume itself. Clear? So now, if you look at the six phases, there are three vectors which is entering. So mx dot is entering, then m dot y is entering and then m dot z is entering. So I can say that entering phases are m dot x plus m dot y plus m dot z in general. And what is outgoing phases? m dot x plus dx, m dot y plus dy, m dot z plus dz. So all of these phases are where the mass is leaving from the control volume. m dot y plus dy plus m dot z plus dz is equals to del T m c b. Clear? Now I can rearrange this equation. How? I can put it like this m dot x minus m dot x plus dx plus m dot y minus m dot y plus dx dy sorry plus m dot z minus m dot z plus dz equals to del by del t of m c v can I rotate like this because I can open this bracket and I can arrange each of this from x with x and y with y and z with z yes now mark this as equation number one now I will find out the value of each of this term before that let me find out value of m dot x plus dx now see this is what if I know the mass flow rate of fluid at a plane which is at x and if I want to estimate the mass flow rate of fluid at a position x plus delta x then I can use uh, mathematics for this and I know that the series says that it is m dot x plus del by del x of m dot x into dx plus higher order terms there is a series for this right and I will not go for higher order terms because then in that case d, dx square will become a dx itself is very very small element all right so now what is this m dot x plus dx equals to m dot x plus now what is this del by del x what is m dot x m dot x is the mass flow rate of fluid entering this section so can I say it is density into volume flow rate that is q and when I say q can I say volume flow rate is area this area into velocity what is velocity along x direction that is u always velocity along x is u right so area into u into dx now what area you are considering let me show it to you m dot x plus del by del x rho what is the area this is dz area of this phase abcd dz into dy dz into dy into u dx now you take the variables outside the differential which are not changing with respect to x this is m dot x plus so i think rho in general can change so it will be in the bracket u will also change it will be in the bracket dz and dy can be taken outside so this is dx dy and dz now what is this it is m dot x plus dx look at this expression now if i rearrange the terms if i just take m dot x plus dx on the right hand side and take this on the left hand side what i will get i'll just write it down i can put minus what was that minus del by del x minus del by del x of rho u dx dy dz equals to m dot x minus m dot x plus dx just let me check it once this is i'll take on left hand side this i'll take on right hand side this becomes minus so minus del by del x rho u dx dy dz minus del by del x rho u dx dy dz equals to this now similarly if you were doing for y and z you will get the same expression you see what you will get del by del y of rho v dx dy dz equals to m dot y minus m dot y plus dy similarly for z you will get del by del z of rho w dx dy dz equals to m dot z plus sorry z minus z minus m dot z plus dz now 
you remember this first equation in this equation if you look at LHS this plus this plus this right so you got all these three values now you are left with only MCV so let me now take you to this equation I will add all this together on left hand side right so what I will get basically this from equation 1 from equation 1 addition of this will be equal to addition of this yes same as this so I can add all this together that is del by del x of rho u and I will take dx dy is it common minus del by del y of rho v minus del by del z of rho w into dx dy dz what I have done you see I have just replaced the value of this three addition this three terms addition right so this three term is basically this so I have added all this together and taken dx dy dz common now what is this equal to this is equals to del by del t of mcv what is mcv let me put it like this mass of the control volume is density of the vol control volume and uh, the volume itself density is rho what is volume it is dx dy dz isn't it so I will put it over here so minus del by del x of rho u minus del by del y of rho v minus del by del z of rho w into dx dy dz equals to del by del t from this entire term only rho is variable you can get it inside and remaining that can taken outside so dx dy dz you see both sides it will be getting, getting cancelled and you then take all of this on the right hand side and the left hand side will be 0 so final equation will be del rho by del t plus u sorry plus del into rho u by del x plus del by del y of rho v plus del by del z of rho w is equals to 0 and this is the final form of continuity equation or mass conservation equation in generalized form Cartesian coordinate form for this fluid flow so I will put it like this del del rho by del t plus del by del x of rho u plus del by del y of rho v plus del by del z of rho w is equals to 0 is the conservation equation of mass so all the fluid flow that exists in nature has to follow this equation at every point and will actually follow right this is the governing equation so all the real fluid flows will always follow this equation thank you so much i hope you understood this concept see you in the next class